movers. Um, this has been an incredibly inspirational week for me. It, it it has been a week of enlightenment and just me seeing the world through a different lens. And every lesson that you're taught, it's not done in a classroom. Every lesson that is taught it doesn't come via a teacher or a professor. Every lesson that God puts in front of us for us to learn, it's not graded. Or it's not about pass, fail. Sometimes it's as simple as, did you learn the lesson or not? As simple as that. Did you learn what I was trying to teach you or did you not? And last week, I delivered my normal Monday night motivation. And I was speaking about the darkness and how I was going through such a dark place. And it was the first video, the first speech that I ever had that went viral. And I'm not talking about viral in the sense of millions of views or thousands of shares, thousands of likes. It didn't go viral online, but it went viral offline. And what I mean by that was I got more calls and more texts and more people reaching out to me and saying, Sean, that message you delivered, it touched me. That message you delivered, it just resonated and spoke to me because I'm in a dark place. I just needed to hear what it was that you said. Or people would call me and say, Sean, I'm just coming out of a dark place. And that message was right on time. I'm forwarding this because I know people right now, this second, who need to hear. Because they're going through the darkness. And as I was listening to people, some of those calls just stood out. One of my great friends hit me damn near in tears. And he confided like, Sean, you know, I haven't been the best husband. I haven't been the best father. And my wife, she left me and she took my kids. But all the while that I had them, I took them for granted. And now that I don't have them in my life, I can't just pick up the phone and talk to my kids. I'm going through it. I'm in a dark place. And the only thing I could think to tell them was, look to the light. Just look to the light. I had another friend call me. And this is a man who's self-employed. And he was telling me how he had to sell his house and now he's renting. And he was like, Sean, business dried up. COVID killed me. I had no money in the bank, but I had equity in my house. But I had to make a decision with my wife and with my child. Do I give up my greatest asset? Or do I try to hold on for dear life and we might be in the street? So he was forced to sell the only home that they had ever known. And the only thing I can think to even tell him was, look to the light. Just look to the light. 
And as I delivered that message last week, that message came from the purest of places. I did a speech years ago. No, excuse me, weeks ago. And I bombed. I sucked. And I came to y'all and I told y'all what it was. And how I was just in this dark place. But while I was in that dark place, God revealed to me. I do my best work in the dark. Sean, you ain't alone. I didn't bring you this far to leave you. You had a bad outing, nothing more. But I'm at work. And I do my best work in the dark. Now look to the light. And as this week was going on, I was forced to reassess, to reevaluate, to take a look at this career that I had chosen. Speaking and coming before y'all week over week and going out there and speaking to crowds and encouraging people. And it dawned on me. Sean, you started out in the right direction, but somewhere along the line, things for you got a little murky. Like, I don't know what your intentions are anymore. When you started out, you wanted to educate, motivate, and just inspire people. You're a servant. When I pray, before I ever come before an audience, I ask God, use me. I'm just your servant. Speak through me. But somewhere, somehow, I started to see myself doing what everybody else out there who are these motivational speakers were doing. I started following their format. Everything was about prosperity. Everything was about get rich or die trying. Everything was about money, wealth, success. But that message last week, it didn't resonate with people because I was preaching success. I was preaching life. I was talking to people about going through a dark place. But hold on. Just look to the light and you can make it out of that dark place. Somewhere along the lines, my intentions got derailed. And I'm asking you movers, what's your intention for doing what you do? Is it time for you to do self-evaluation and look that person in the mirror? And ask him or ask her a very simple question. Why are you doing what you're doing? Are your intentions pure? Because if your intentions are not pure, you're not going to find the success that you're looking for. And success is not always measured in dollars and cents. I'm the first one to preach. Go out there and live. Life is short. We don't know when God is going to take that last breath from us. And while you're here, while you're healthy, while you're able body, go live. But I had to get back on track with my intentions. Was I focused on the proper intentions why I started this journey in the first place? Movers, what's your intention? Look to the light. You have to know why you're doing what you're doing. Because if you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, you'll find yourself in the darkest of places and have no idea, how do I get out of this place? How did I get myself into this place? But sometimes it's as simple as 
taking a step back and looking to the light. Because what I learned is light and dark, they can't exist in the same place. It is just no way on planet Earth that they can coexist. No matter how dark it is, no matter what the struggle that you're going through, no matter how much turmoil is happening in your life, Look to the light movers. It's only temporary. God does his best work in the darkest of places. When you do find out and you do get back on that right track of your own intention, something starts to happen because it happened to me. I started to change my perspective I started to look at life just a little bit differently over the last few days. And I started to remember my grandfather when I was going through one of the darkest periods on planet Earth. One of the hardest times when I didn't know when things were going to get better for me. He sat me down and said, Sean, it can't rain forever. The sun got to come out sometimes. Keep looking to the light. And what I'm telling y'all movers, change your perspective. Because you can never uh, truly appreciate that sun until after you come out of that storm. Look to the light. I think about my mother, who all of you know. And how she spent the last two years of her life so sick. So sick. Could barely get out of the bed. But I remember having these conversations with her. When she would have just those good days. They were few and far in between. But when she would have those days. She appreciated them so much more. Sometimes you have to look and just appreciate your health, appreciate being able to move, appreciate no pains in your bodies, not being hooked up to ventilators, not being on dialysis. Because there's somebody right now whose health is gone. There's somebody right now who's in a wheelchair, who's bedridden, who cannot get up. But it's about perspective. While we're sitting and we're driving around and we're moving and we're doing all of the things that we can do, there's somebody who would give their right arm just to be able to walk again. Change your perspective. Start to look to the light. When things are dark, it's important not to focus on the darkness, even if there is just a pinhole of light coming through. It signifies change. It signifies life. It signifies that the sun, it will come out again. But you got to focus on the light, no matter what it is that you're going through. Change your perspective, movers. We all go through hard times. Every single one of us. But if these last few weeks haven't taught me anything, nothing is done by chance. Nothing is random. Sometimes you need to learn a lesson that can only be taught to you by your behind hitting the ground. When I bombed in front of that crowd, when I got out there and had nothing to say, I had no idea that in that moment, God was using me because it was there that I found my inspiration to let people know this darkness is temporary. Stand strong, look to the light and let God do what he does. The sun it will come out again. 
It might take a minute for them clouds to clear up. It might take a minute for it to stop raining, but the sun will come out again. But had I not gone through that, in that moment, I didn't know it was for the purpose that is served in these other people's lives. But I'm here to tell you, movers, I don't care what it is that you're going through. I truly don't. The sun will come out. Your circumstances, they can be bleak. They can be dark. But you look to the light. All of us are going through something. And this is not about dollars and cents. This is about our lives. Keep standing strong. Keep holding the faith. And keep focused on the man upstairs. He did not bring you this far to leave you. Trust me. Look to the light. Peace and love, movers. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. Hopefully I said something that sticks with y'all. It ain't nothing that y'all are going through that you will not come out of. Believe me when I tell you that that light is just around the corner. That sunshine is, is, is just around the corner. No matter what you're going through, tomorrow when you wake up, that sun's going to be out. Start changing your perspective and see life different. Don't focus on the darkness. Focus on the light. Change your intention. Make sure whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing for the right reason. You're doing it with a pure heart. You're doing it. Not for yourself, but to better serve others. Peace and love, movers.